my people how are we all doing welcome to nengi's kitchen <laughs> welcome 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 back to our youtube channel so look at what we're making today oh no no do you know it look at it very very well it's not swallow it's not swallow at all before we proceed let me give you the history of this meal so it's a meal a traditional meal traditional delicacy eaten in river state of nigeria the calabaris call it onunu the boni people call it opopo and then the okrika people call it temburu so hmm this food i ate it so much while i was growing up as a child it was a food for a delicacy for enjoyment anytime they are preparing this food you are so happy and glad it was so 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 delicious i've never seen anybody that doesn't like rye plantain have you seen anybody have you seen anyone <laughs> okay maybe there are few 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 people all right so we get back to our meal this food food is energy taking energy taking you use energy to make it energy taking energy sapping you use energy to make it so you prepare for your loved one and then in this today's um today's episode i'm going to be showing you how to prepare it with a mixer mixer is a modern method yes and then the traditional method which is we use a mortar and a pistol now in my opinion the mortar and pistol is tedious is more tedious but it is better in texture yes the mixer too is good it's easy but it doesn't have the right texture i used to have i used to feel as a child the onunu texture so by the way in um, portacot generally they just say onunu onunu it is eaten by the riverine people like i had earlier said rivers okrika uh, okrika people calabari people and boni people now i come from boni and we call it opopo but in portacot is called onunu because calabaris are dear a lot and they call it onunu so let's go with the name onunu but if you hear onunu you hear opopo you hear temburu just know that we're talking about the same thing so now welcome all this is nengi have you subscribed to this channel have you liked this video are you wondering what is she talking about okay well this is our yam we cut our yam slice our yam wash it with our rye plantain you have black plantains you are wondering what do i do with it what do i do with it make onunu make opopo make temburu <laughs> do not throw your black plantains away and now what i mean black plantains not rotting plantains but black they are very really 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 ripe instead of throwing them away you can make onunu just like we are going to watch in this video so let's continue we wash our yam we peel it wash our plantain and we peel it and we boil it we boil it for at least 25 minutes to cook the yam and the plantain and now look i just washed the the yams um what am i yes look at the plantain look at it it's black it looks black but it's not rotten it's not spoiled at all at all at all so i wanted to let me let me remind let me not forget to tell you that onunu is traditionally served with pepper soup fresh with pepper soup and stew and then it is not swallow it is not what you swallow like our fufu no it's not fufu a lot of people have seen a lot of people making that mistake of making it and preparing soup and swallowing it no 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 that's a sacrilege even our ancestors will frown at it <laughs> yes our ancestors will not like it you don't it's not swallow you eat it with a spoon just as you eat rice you will chew it and i'm going to show you how we eat it we we'll eat it make it eat it use the mixer use the mortar just like i have said have you liked this video please like this video i beg on her i beg on, her. I beg on her. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming here thank you for being here thank you for subscribing for those that have subscribed you're yeah, just wondering what's happening here yes we're making a no, no, look at the yam um, it's almost ready now see our mortar wash clean usually i would use a big mortar but because of this video i'm using a small mortar so we start usually i first of all ask my mother anytime i'm making a nuno, i'll call my mother mommy what am i supposed to start with is it the yam or the plantain so instead of you to do like me every time you can come to this video because I, I don't i don't usually remember which one am i supposed to start with is it the yam is it the plantain so my mommy will always tell me start with the yam so please start with the yam and now if you start with the plantain i don't know what will happen i've never tried it but my mommy told me that it's always you always start with the yam so you start like this and pound so like i was telling you we for onunu you use the major things you use 
your yam, your plantain, your palm oil, and your salt. So when it is hot like this, as you're pounding, that's when you're going to add palm oil. Don't worry, to not cordo. As you're pounding like this, you add palm oil. When you're mixing two, the same thing. So like this one, now what I did is, because I'm already pounding, and the thing was, I was out of the fire, it was already getting cold, so I warmed it a bit. I didn't show that part. I warmed it a bit so that it would be a bit hot to go back to the mixer. Because it's this same yam and plantain. I divided it, the same yam and plantain. Now, look, see, the palm oil is going in. So it's the same yam and plantain that I, I, I um, divided, was some part for mixer, some part for mortar. So like I was telling you, this food is a one, one try. You must try it. If you love plantains, you would love this. And then it is use, you use ripe plantain. Ripe plantain, not unripe. Ripe plantain. That is the beauty and, and deliciousness. That's where, that's where lies. It's here. Yeah, even for me to even tell you about this thing. See, ah, I even feel like eating my screen. I feel like eating my screen. I feel like eating my screen. Oh, no, no. Ah, wow. It makes me so nostalgic. Anyway, I just ate this one. I ate this one last week or so. So let me not, be, let, let me not feel any nostalgia. So let's continue. So we pound it well. Pound it well. Pound it well with your palm oil, your yam, and then your plantain. Keep pounding till you exhaust your all your yam and plantain. And then one thing to notice, if you want it to be very soft, you add more plantains. If you want it to be hard, you add more yams. But there should be a balance. It's not supposed to be too hard. It's not supposed to be too soft. So there should be a balance. So we keep pounding. So welcome back. If you're just joining, if you're just seeing this video, you're just sitting there wondering what's happening. What are they pounding? Is it for soup? Is it for swallow? No, no, no. It's not for swallow. This is called Onunu Opopo on Temburu, depending on who is doing it. And then for us, Boni people, growing up, when I was still at home, growing up, it was usually served for traditional ceremonies, not every time. We usually do it, if we do it in the house, it's once in a blue moon, maybe during Christmas or Easter. It's not something you do all the time. But I know that my neighbors, Okrika people, they were they should make temburu almost every every week. They used to make it. So it wasn't like a, a something like a one once in a blue moon kind of meal. It was something they ate regularly compared to what we how we used to eat our own. So now I will see now we're still pounding. The essence of pounding is so that we will pound and then we won't have lumps in it. So it will be smooth very, very well for us to enjoy our meal. Remember, this is not pounded yam that you swallow. This one is going to be chewed. Now see what I'm doing. This part is not is not really necessary, but because I love aesthetics, I love my food to be smooth. That's why I'm I'm shaping it into balls like this. When I'm done, I'll even design the body. <laughs> I'll even design the body. But usually you just scoop, scoop, and you serve with your stew and your pepper soup. And you start eating, enjoying yourself. So look at it. I'm taking it to the plate. But I I wanted to say, do you know that? Have you heard about it that? When you serve your meal and it is beautifully plated, even when it is not sweet, it tastes it tastes so delicious. Yes, when it is beautifully plated on a plate and it is not sweet, it tastes so delicious. Did you know? This is psychology. Psychology. <laughs> that when they design the food so much, you see it. Ah, already your mind is telling you this thing will be delicious. It will be so sweet. And then if you are now hungry again, you taste it, it'll be so sweet. But when your stomach is full, and you can taste the food, you'll be wondering, ah, is it the same thing that was so sweet? But for Onunu, it's not like that. Look at how we're designing it. So now, which one will you choose? Look at it. Is it this one that is designed, or this other one that is just like that on the plate? Tell me, I'd like, I'd like to read your comments. What's your preference? What's your preference? This designed one, or the other one that is just on the plate like that? I put it for you so that you will choose. For me, of course, you know what I'm going to choose? I am choosing the beautifully designed one. <laughs> yes, so, yes, so. That's why I'm called a food architect and a food designer. Yes. Let it go and scatter my stomach. Look at it now. See the, see the difference. Which one are you choosing? Designed one or the scatter scatter one? Which one? So now we're using the mixer. So I warmed it a bit on fire because it had gotten cold. So look, we're mixing it. Now, what I observed is the mixer is not like the mortar. The texture is not the same. It's not the same at all. Even though the taste, 
the taste might be close, but initially I was saying, no, 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 there's no difference. No, no, no. But when I compared them closely and I checked, I had to compare the one for mortar and the one we mixed. When I had them side by side, I knew that, yes, there was a lot of difference. And then another thing again is the one done with the mixer tends to go bad faster than the one pounded in a mortar. Yes, that's my observation. You could try yours and tell me. To, in today's world, a lot of us want fasting. Sharp, 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 sharp. Let's do and get out of the kitchen. So we prefer to use the mixer. But the mortar is a lot, lot better. But of course, it comes with a price. You will sweat. You will sweat. Eh? <laughs> you will sweat. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for being here. I'm adding oil. Look at it oil into the the mixer thank you for subscribing thank you for liking the videos turn on the bell my youtube godmother will say ring the bell <laughs> ring the bell and flop on the beat so please oh thank you very much for being here subscribe like the videos and tell me what you like would you try would you try opopo will you try ununu will you try temburu is this something you've eaten before is it something you've seen anywhere would you love to try it like I told you, things are changing. People now serve it. Some people serve it with just you. Some serve it with pepper soup. But the main thing is fresh fish pepper soup and fresh fish stew. And usually it's palm oil stew. But now people are using goat meat stew, beef stew, chicken stew, whatever you have, you can use it. And then I want to think that for it to be served with pepper soup, you know, you're eating, it's like you're eating yam and plantain. So as you're eating that, you need liquid to make it to, to sail smoothly through your, your throat. So that's the reason why you now use that pepper soup to make it glide and so that you will not have any <laughs> food combustion. If there's anything like that, food combustion. Is there anything like that? So thank you very much for being here. Thank you for liking uh, uh, videos. Thank you for subscribing to Nengi's Kitchen. It's a new channel and we want to see how we can grow. Thank you so much. I appreciate all the time you spend here. If you can watch the videos from the beginning to the end, excellent. I will thank you. I will be very, very glad. If you can like them, comment, tell me what you feel, tell me what you need. I love them and I'm so, so, so happy that you are here. Thank you so much. So, Onunu to the rescue. This is one meal to add. When you go to Potako, to the Rivera area, this is one of the traditional meals. Very, 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 very lovely and nice. So what else would you like to see? Which other traditional meal have you? Is a lot that is a long time you saw. Tell me. Let's share it. We could share it and then enjoy. So look at it. Look at how it looks. It's different, actually. It's different from the one with the mortar. Totally different. Just like I told you, the texture is different. It's not the same. But in today's world, who knows? You could choose, you could choose the mixer. Look at how it is served. Look at it with pepper soup. Yeah, look at that fish head. And look at my beads. Look at the beads. Look at our judge. Our judge on the table for to show you that, yes, yeah, so we ready. Oh, reverse people know the joke. So look at it. We are using a spoon. Yes, you scoop it like this. Take some stew. Sometimes you even serve it and put the stew on it, on the onunu. And as you're eating, enjoy yourself. This stew now, I used sungu fish. Sungu, well, we call it songu in Potakot. But Boni people will call it sungu. So that's what I used to make this stew. It is called bonga shad fish in English. And then for the pepper soup, it is catfish pepper soup. And then there is there are crabs inside. All right. So, so thank you. Thank you for being here. Open your mouth. Let us enjoy your nunu together. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. So, so this is how to eat it. Educate others. Tell them. You don't swallow it. No, you're not molding it to swallow. It's not swallow. You chew it with a spoon and you eat it with serving with pepper soup and stew. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Oh, yeah, now. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We're counting down. I'm rushing now. I want to go to the kitchen. And prepare another one that I will enjoy. This one has already digested. And it has made me hungry again. So thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. This is Nengi signing out. Signing out. Oh, yeah, now. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.